everyone, I'm Dr. Melissa Estevio and I'm a licensed psychologist at Biltmore Psychology and Counseling. Um, this month is Suicide Prevention Month and so we've been talking a lot about suicide and some common questions that people have. So one of the questions, if I can't read this, that we've gotten recently is, I recently lost someone to suicide and I'm very sad and angry about that. How should I handle these emotions? Well, first off, it is so complicated to think about the conflictual things that people can feel when they're grieving someone while also experiencing a lot of the conflict around suicide. So I think it's very common for people to feel a combination of incredible sadness, distress, loss, grief that would just be so common with losing anyone. But I think on top of that, there's a lot of feelings of guilt that people feel like, I just talked to that person and now they're gone. How did I miss their pain? How was I not there for them? Feeling like there's a sense of that this is somehow their fault. And so knowing how to sit with those conflictual feelings I think is the most complicated. So a lot of the work that we do around grief is about creating the space to say, you don't have to just feel one thing. I do think it's important to create proper space for all of those emotions. Now it might be hard to experience all of it at the exact same time, but I think to have a period where it's okay to question, it's okay to look at big existential things about the world and God and how something like this could happen and how something, someone or a situation could seem so safe and calm and fine and then all of a sudden to see that it was so very different. Um, so I do think it's, it's okay to question that and the more that you can embrace that conflictual process, the more that you can find that way through it. I do think that there's a place on the other side where there can be a place of healing, where it can feel like there's a sense of sadness that that person didn't see the hope or didn't see their value. Um, at the same time, being able to honor their life that they lived and not feeling like suicide is such a stigmatized, terrible thing that somehow that person just has to be forgotten because I think that's the saddest thing. For all the grief that work that we do, a lot of it is about creating that place of connection to that person that's gone. And so if you feel guilty, or if you feel bad, or if you feel angry that that person died in this way, then I think it complicates the grief process because it doesn't feel like you can create that, that safe, close connection to the memories of that person. And so I think that would be the biggest thing to emphasize is that there's room to be angry and sad, but there's still room to remember all the good and the beautiful things that that person offered, and that's why it's actually so hard that they're gone. Um, so we love questions like this. I'd love to be able to talk about this stuff. Um, so feel free to leave us some questions in the comments below. Like our page so that you don't miss some of the content coming up or follow us. Um, we'd love to be able to hear back from you and, and um, be talking about the relevant things that are important in your lives. Thank you.